We're back at the NEC and we're looking at the Swift Voyager 540. A couple of people have asked for this and uh, we, we never really put it on our list. But uh, Ford, Ford cab, Swift Voyager 540. And I think the reason for looking at this is it's very similar to the Adamo 69.4. Yes. Two litre Ford engine, 16 inch alloys, cruise control, all that sort of business. 100, 100 watt solar panel, I think the Adama is an 80 watt solar panel. Slimline fridge, dual fuel combi, dedicated USB points, it's seven metres. I'm not sure what the payload is. But you've got a good sized garage. That's good, isn't it? Got the door through. And you've got as well. the door through. Yeah. In there. Got power points in here, is it? I, don't, I can't see it at the moment. Yeah, there are here. Just here. Well, that's good. So you can charge your phones up in there, like we did with the dump. We did like the dump, mm, though. So, did like that. You so we just should go through. really sort of like this yeah. layout. Um, let's see what we can see. Might not be able to get round the other side. Uh, just have a quick look round the other side. Obviously, you've got the electric point there, not on the other side of the door, which is good. True, yeah. Uh, water filling point there with the swift uh, point there. Toilets, obviously, there. What have we got on the back? Rear view camera, provision for bike rack. A tall door this side. Oh, it's the same as the Adamo, isn't it? They've got one small and one, yeah, one tall and one. So that's obviously a cupboard. I don't know if you can get at to that from the inside. We'll have a look later. It's rather difficult to get to if it's that's the only access. Got some hooks. Yeah. Okay. Gas lockers on this side. Truma heating. Yeah. And the Ford cab. Alright, let's have a look inside. Yeah. We just noticed on the near side there is a tap for emptying the water and it's at the side. That's good. Like that. Oh, I'm You're all right. Yeah. <laughs> God. Climbing on the floor. Okay, so like the Adamo, you've got a nice big lounge with travel seats. Yeah, which will be under there. And yeah, you can see where there. the travel seats are because you've got the adjuster there somewhere. I don't know quite what's going on at this on this side here. Someone's messed the cushions up, haven't they? Yeah. 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 It's, it's, in, there, it's in there. Yeah. I think they've taken the knob off, you know. Have they? Yeah. Yeah, stop, stop, people. yeah stop people adjusting it, probably. Obviously, you've got the nice big Ford screen in the cab there. Manual transmission here, so automatic is an optional. I like to see that. I don't know why ours doesn't have that. I think I've said this before. You've got a socket there and a socket there next to the reading lights. You've got the little sort of front window there, you can see it. And the drop down bed, and I think all the motor gubbings is in this sort of curved area here. Yeah, I thought there was a bit more of a cut off on this bed. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's not square this bed, no, is it? No, no. No, you can see the cut off here. There's, There's all not... your controls. I've actually put a key in here so people can operate the the drop down bed. Do you want to do that? Want me to do it? Yeah, just give it a think. Don't think it's there's no catches or anything. It's this cut off there, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, go on. Let's uh, keep going. Table's up. Yeah, no, well don't drop it all the way down. But yeah. So you can drop that quite a way down by the looks of it. Yeah, well, it's a ladder if you want to keep it at this height. That's it's right. a duvalet mattress. Yeah. It's got a bit of a 
Oh, it, but it's not a terrible cut off. No. Not like that uh, one we saw in no. that auto trail. Yeah, it does come all the way down because it's got the runners. You can see the runners down there. Yeah. We won't put it all the way down because I'll no. be folding the cushions up. Right, do you want to stick it up again there? Yep. It's actually quite quiet, that. So you can see all the mechanism there, though. <laughs> you know. And it's got straps to, to attach it to stop it coming down like a seatbelt thing, doesn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, that's good. We've got a control panel there that reminds me of the Bolero. Well, it's the one. same as the Bolero's panel, isn't it? Exactly yeah. the same. Yeah. You've got your battery and your, uh, your sorry, your, your, your waste water, fresh water, batteries. You choose which battery on there. All very uh, familiar. It's not exactly a smart panel, is it? TV points here. This looks like there's cushion storage there. Yeah, different. There's a little locker under there. I don't know what goes under there? All oh, right, okay, sergeant, sergeant unit. unit yeah. yeah, okay. That's our fridge, isn't it? Yeah, and it's our fridge, yeah, with those awful shelves. <laughs> Not a fan of those shelves. I quite like the fridge itself, it's okay. It's a reasonable size. I notice I've only got one shelf in there. <laughs> Yeah. Down at the bottom. Yeah, and don't put heavy, anything heavy in there, no, whatever you do. No, no, don't use them as shelves. No. Because they'll break. In the cupboard. Yeah, you've got Truma controller there. So that's for your Wi-Fi. Is that Wi-Fi? Oh, no, that's your solar charger. Beg your pardon. Solar charger. Couldn't see the writing on it. Got a couple of little coat hooks there. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that, yeah. sorry. It's all right. And you've got the table control there. So the table goes up and down electrically. Where are I? There we are. Does, yeah. Yeah. It's the same table yeah. as the Adamo. I'm, exactly I love the same these table. Tables. I think they're brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, people have said, aren't these edges sharp? Not really. But it means you can walk through to the cab nice and easy, turn around. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've, I'd change my van if it had one of those tables. <laughs> <laughs> what we got here? We've got USB point, table controls, two sockets. Uh, what's, that? what's that one there then? That's a fuse. Just a fuse? It's okay. a fuse, yeah. I suppose that's good that they fused it separately. Well, this looks very familiar, doesn't it? I mean, in fact, it's the same tap that Same we've tap, got. yeah. I think it's the same cooker. It's the same cooker with the dog. Oh, no, it's a, tri uh, it's a triplex plus. But it's got the dodgy knobs on it. Dodgy it? knobs. I don't know whether they've improved them, <laughs> but... You've got an electric hot plate. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you want a microwave, that presumably go in the middle here. And you lose all this cupboard space. Good cupboards, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Tambador, mm -hmm. Ay, which is a bit stiff. I think that's the biggest drawback with this layout. Is that door? Yeah, I mean it's all right once you're in there, and but they always seem to be stiff. Those Tambadors. Now the toilet. Whilst we're here, toilet's on the floor. That's fine. That's yeah. Yeah, it was in the '69 four. It was yeah. fine. Nice big, like, a nice big wash area, isn't it? So mm. got somewhere yeah. to put all your stuff. Quite a shallow sink. Morning. Big locker here. That's, That's good. good. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Shelves in there. Yeah. Yeah. No, I like that. Yeah, and you've got sort of somewhere for your toilet roll, I suppose, in there. <laughs> Sheltered. I know your toilet roll holders there, but you put all your spare ones in there, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Turn light. Turn around. It's good. Really good. Only a single drainer. Tiny bit of wheel arch intrusion. A sort of a marble defect at the back, right at the top, and a vent. And it's the same doors we've got, the bifold doors, which work okay. Notice they put a strap to stop the door. I can't do it, but. Yeah, to stop the door, door. sliding. Sliding, yeah, don't do it because people no, will no. force it if they. Yeah. But yeah, stops that moving about. That's good. 
They put something on that to stop that group opening. No, no, it hasn't. That I would worry that that would move, but that gives you access to the garage. I think we're in the way here. Are we? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Someone's hoovering. Yeah. Yeah. Quick look in the cupboard. Okay. And that's the cupboard. The cupboard, isn't it? Yeah, so loads of space cupboard, in there. They're, they're brilliant. This, I like this, this layout. I love this layout. Really do. So the Voyager is it's quite a bit cheaper than the Adamo. But I don't think it's got any cab lines, is it? No. I think the differences are the cab lines. Yeah. No, it's no cab lines. No. And they can be about two thousand. And the they? automatic. And the automatic, it hasn't got that. Which I don't think is as much on the Ford, but, but there are some notable differences, aren't there? Blight. Seats aren't as comfortable. Must you don't it? think the no, seats are as I comfortable? I think they're harder. Yeah. So you like a hard seat. Let me try it. I think it's all right. It's all right, yeah. It yeah. is harder, though. You don't feel as if you yeah. sunk into it because. Carpets move like about as well. Carpets, don't they? Yeah, so you'll have to put the, tie those down with a bit of Velcro if you want to use carpets. But otherwise, uh, I like it in here. It's a nice atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah, so what we've got here is the Carrera 122. I think it used to be the Swift Select 122. Yeah. Uh, I think they'd renamed it to make it a bit more obvious because there were selects on coach builds as well. So. It's on 140 brake horsepower, Fiat, six speed manual, 16 inch wheels, silver techno dash, cruise control, manual air conditioning, uh, Dometic oven, uh, compressor, compressor fridge, uh, 65,995, six meters, two berth. Uh, can't see the payload on there. So they've got a video on making up the rear bed here. Which I don't think it's that complicated. No. Let's move all the cushions. Pull that out. Oh, it sort of unfolds. Yeah. I don't know. Different. I wonder why they felt they needed to do that. Give you more space under that sofa. Yeah, possibly. It means the other sofa is accessible, doesn't it? Yeah. It's got the gas in it, yeah. the other sofa, so yeah. that's maybe why. All right, I think, I think Mr. Henry's finished. So you've got an occasional table here. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, that's a really nice isn't idea, it? isn't it? Yeah. Just sitting outside of your chairs. Yeah, yeah like that. Electric point, step control. Yeah. As usual, Fiat cab. Getting used to these now. Seats are real. Seats are really nice. Hmm. And just, that's just filled in there. And just a little sunroof there. Doesn't doesn't fill the whole cab, but that's, not, that's okay. Not much storage, though, is it? No, not not up there. I think I'd prefer to actually have a locker or something there, but I suppose you'd always be cracking your head, wouldn't you? Dometic compressor fridge with the same shelves. <laughs> it is a compressor fridge. Below that, oh, huge locker. That's good. Mm. Seems to be covered here as well. Ooh. That's good. A lot of shelves. Your tables in there. Yeah, your centre your center tables in there, and loads of storage in there. I'm always amazed how much they fit into these mm. panel van conversions. Yeah. Looks like that should do something, doesn't it? But is it just a show what? Good, <laughs> <Did> you. <laughs> oh. oh, there's the bin. <laughs> the bin there. Not sure what that, that one does, I no. won't force it. No. Okay, got light switch there. 
kitchen area. It's not much of an area, is it really? I was looking for a pull-out table, but it seemed to pull be one. Table. Yeah, a little flappy, flappy up oh, thing. Oh, a flap thing. Maybe this is something to do with it. But maybe. Oh, come, does it come that way? No, <coughs> no. No. Don't know. <laughs> Anyone who's got a select one, two, two, let us know. USB there, tiny little Dometic oven. I always think these are like an afterthought, but I suppose that's because you haven't got a huge amount of space there. No, you haven't. A couple of drawers below it. Adja. Quite a big locker there. Got your waste and freshwater dump buttons there. All right. Okay. Right. I think they've improved since we've... Yeah, well, because you've got that wooden, wooden bit over board. there. You've, yeah. If you're on the low, you've yeah. got a bit of floor space. Drop down sink. Shower up there. A kind of hanger. That's, yeah, it's a hanger, isn't it? Yeah. I just think what the, wonder what those are. A little bit of space at the back there. Not a huge amount. But that's perfectly adequate. Mm, got that's... a little protection for your toilet roll. Because that little sink, you can stand there, can't you? Yeah, yeah, I can go in here because I've got the duck board. But, uh, mm. yeah, it's, it's cosy in here. <laughs> <laughs> Not huge, is it? Yeah. I'll assume this is because this is a pre-production model, but that looks a bit unfinished to me. It's probably, yes, it's probably it supposed to be a bit trim around there. Yeah. But I'd be banging my head on that. Yeah, that looks a bit sharp at the moment, yeah. doesn't it? But massive lounge. Well, these are comfortable. Are they? Yeah. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Mm. All the lockers at the back there. Nice, a nice place to sit with the doors open, mm. isn't it? Mm. Little magazine racks. Decent well, lots of magazine racks, but two yeah. over there and yeah. two over here. Well, I suppose that's extra storage, isn't it? Yeah, extra storage there. Let's see what these lockers are like. They've got that's an unusual catch. It's got a catch on the edge there. Oh, they look good. They're fully lined. It's yeah. nice to see. No wires or anything showing. Yeah, no, they're very neat. I think even on our van, you see the wires at the back there. Mm. Not that it bothers me, but. We're trying this one though, because that's where all the sockets are. Yeah. Yeah, you've got your Truma solar controller in there. Well, that's fairly neat. Yeah, they're a bit clunky, the doors. Well, that, sometimes they're a bit stiff, aren't they? Cause they're well, new. it's just not that, it just feels feel un very unpleasant to close. <laughs> <laughs> Me being the expert on opening and closing lockers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I quite like this. You've got plenty of sockets, haven't you, and USBs. You've got two up there, yeah. got another two over there, oh, plus yeah. the sockets. Yeah. Right. Got speakers up here. Oh, yeah, nice speakers at the back there. And I did notice that you've also got cab lines. Is it? Yeah. It's got that one that comes up from the bottom. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know how that works with the mirror there. If you've got a, a rear view screen or a mirror there, I can't see how that works. Probably leaves a gap, doesn't it? Right. Yeah, it's nice in here. Yeah. Well, well so done, about Swift, three right? people wanted us to look at yeah, this. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 We've looked in there, haven't we? Oh, yeah. One thing we didn't notice is the usual controls there, and I think they're the whale heating controls. That's whale heating. I think so. It? Yeah, I think so. I'll have to have a look outside. Really, a winter pack, yeah, yeah. Impressive fridge. Doesn't really say. Okay, 65,000. And it's a nice short van, it's not, you know, looking for something that's easy to use in a car park. Mm. Yeah, quite like that. Aerial on the top. You've got an awning, a yeah. canopy. Canopy, awning. yeah, Omnistore. Canopy, barbecue point. Yeah. A 
access under here and big doors here as well. Oh, we've got like a drawer that pulls out. That's good. Zoom. Can't really sit, see this, but. Ugh, God. Yeah, there's another locker under there I can't get at without two hands, but I assume there's access from outside. I don't can't know tell, the, can we around can't there? tell. No, there isn't. No, don't but think there, there is. There is more storage under there. Right, very good. Okay, so, roller team, we're looking for the auto roller. Now, I know Todd's doing roller team. Yeah, and they were showing somebody collecting an auto roller. Okay. I think it was one of these 707. Yeah, this one's won design Which, award. Yeah, so this is five or six berth coach built, motor homes under six, 7.5 metres awarded to the Auto Roller 707. I, think I can't give you much of a shot of what it looks like at the front. <laughs> can't well, there's a picture. Yeah. <laughs> Is it just the Ford cab, isn't it? Yeah. So, price was displayed 73,576. Total weight 2,000 kilograms. Uh, Massing running on 2,990, so deduct that from there, so you've got 500 and 10 kilograms payload and this is 7.12 meters long 2.35 wide and it's got a 170 brake horsepower Fiat Ducato engine that's quite an engine mm, it is isn't it but it's how many berths is it uh, five or six, six. so six. yeah so a lot of people in here oh yeah I do remember this you've got the the bunk bed in the garage so, That's right, so you yeah. can either have the bunk bed or the... Or a garage. Or a garage. Or a, or a little bit. garage and a... And a bunk bed. Yeah, so there's the first bunk. And there's the second bunk. Yeah, it's good. It looks reasonable. I'd probably, you'd probably want to sleep with your head that side. A bit of a cut-off. Nice to see reading lights. We've got some speakers up there, both ends. Would have been nice if it was that end and that end, but never mind. <laughs> we can't have everything. Some control panels. Fly screen, that Fly is. Fly screen. Should we stop mentioning, because they all seem to have them. Yeah. Three burner hob. Tiny oven. You cook a meal for five in there. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might be going out more often. That's right. Get your Christmas roast in there. It's very light in here. Yeah, nice white upholstery. Only one socket here. Yeah, good size covers, quite high. But yeah, another cupboard here. Pull out slidey thing. Yeah, not a bad kitchen. Bit square. Do you want to have a look in the washroom? See what's going Not on huge, in here. But it's no, all right. No. Got a duck board, sink, double mirror, a little locker there, hanging space, and toilet on one level. Not bad. Oh, these lights are bright, aren't they? I know, aren't they? It's just See, very it's, bright in here. Yeah, it's together. very bright in here. That's what we've got in the cab. These seats can quite low down. I'm going to show you against my knee. Quite low down. It's unusual. I think what they've done is they made it to match the cab seats. Yes. Is, you notice this is all on one level. Yeah, it is. You just step up into the cab, don't you? I wonder you? if there's underfloor storage then. I oh, know, because this is all Maybe in because one. Because it's got carpet. carpet. Look at that window, it's huge. Yeah. <laughs> and above you, of course, big drop down bed. Yeah, but the thing about the drop down bed though is it is rectangular. It's not Rectangle there's no, rectangular. Yeah, there's no <laughs> there's no cut off. No, and it's got the controls on there. It has got cupboards on it, so there'll be a limit to how far you can bring it down. But that's your one, two, three, four, and probably an occasional five. Here and it says five six, so you could, in theory, I suppose, make this up as a double. Hmm. 
So these, these are travel seats, I take it. Yeah, two travel seats there. Just Looks like there's another, another travel one seat there. So there's goes in there. That's your five. Was it five, five or six? Five, no, I six. think five travelling, six sleeping by the sounds of it. So two. two travel seats there, another travel seat there. Three, four, five. yeah. Oh, well, there's another travel seat at the front. Is there? Where? Here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it does, uh, can travel with seats. Yeah, so this could double as the uh, football minibus, couldn't it? It really? could. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's quite nice in here, quite pleasant. Well, it's got that um, knob in the middle of the rail. Does yeah. that mean that. That's to stop it coming down any further. Yeah, I thought because it presumably was. Presumably you could move that if you if you never use the bottom bunk. Yeah, another one there. We had one on that original Bailey Compact and that kept breaking. Not like that. No. It, it uh, kept cracking. You hit the stop and break it, but that looks fairly solid. Your ladder's up there. Bit of shelf storage there. Not bad. Padded headboard. And the lovely Ford cab. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, still don't know what happens with these blinds, you know. <coughs> if these pull up, I do pull them up. Oh, it goes the other side of it, look. It goes, oh, right, yeah. yeah. I thought okay. they would have thought that out. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad I did that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's all right. Yeah. It's a bit like a doctor's waiting room. No, not a doctor's waiting room. What am I thinking of? An airport lounge. That's it. <laughs> but having said that, it feels a lot of space. Yeah, yeah. I... A lot of seats, but I suppose if there's six of you in here, it isn't. Yeah, and it, it's quite, it feels quite spacious. I love the, that little oven. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see if I can have a look around the front of it. Yeah, so here it is from the other side. I don't know if this garage door's open. It looks like a fairly big garage. Was it open the other side? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, right. we've got through at the bunk beds. Toilet, fridge vents, black alloy wheels, and the LPGs on this side. Yeah, quite smart. Hmm. Yeah, and it's not got a massive. I mean, if you like a low profile, that's not too bad, is it? No. No, it's one of the awards. Yeah. Best. MMM and Caravan and Motorhome Club. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Best family motorhome. Yeah, so slight de departure from what we normally film, but this is the new Discovery, the Bailey Discovery D44L, so four berth Discovery range. And it's round about a thousand kilos MTPLM and uh, Alco Hitchlock. I know that much. It's got a handbrake. It's the jockey wheel. <laughs> I'll jockey tell you wheel. that, yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look at the specs. That might mean more to people than me looking at the gubbins at the front. MTPLM 1082. Um, payload is 133. The shipping length is just under six metres, 5.9. Uh, so something, I think, about a focus size would tow this quite happily. Possibly a little bit smaller. Seven foot four, 2.28 metres wide, isn't it? Yeah. So the bed, I'm thinking of the bed for you. Okay, for me. Okay, wouldn't it? Yeah. It'd be all right for me, would it? I mean, they are unusual. These with these curved sides. I think it's a, I don't know, love it or like it, like was, it or loathe it. Was this the one where you could put an awning all the way around the back? That's right, yeah. that's right. You've got yeah. an awning rail that goes all the way around, so you can get this, like, uh, wrap-around awning thing. All right. So, really increase your space. Stable door, alloy wheels. We'll start at the front, I think, and work our way back. So this is where you would make up the bed from the, the lounge seats. I mean, they do show them as two singles, but yeah. I don't think even I'd um, well fit on that. No, no, you, you, you couldn't sleep on that as a single one. You definitely need to make it up. And there's a little dinette area there. That's so yeah, I mean, yeah. this would work for family. 
family of two children. Plenty of workspace here. Look, TV point there. Two sockets. Let's have a look at the cupboards. I think these cupboard, cupboards are new, aren't they? Yes. Slightly cheaper Remis blinds, but not a problem. There's your main controls, switches, Truma heating, Truma blown air heating, Thetford triplex, gas, three gas burners. That's uh, got a lock on it. Got a lock on it, got two locks on it. Is it the other way? That's it. That's yeah. an automatic uh, fridge as well. Yeah. The auto on it. Yeah, most of them are coming like automatic now, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. So what's your little dinette area it's like? It's nice. This feels very strong, this table. Yeah. This is very comfortable. Nice yeah. back seat. Yeah, no, it's big nice. Big windows here. I mean, you've got this great big window at the back there. You've got a curtain that comes around on a track. So when you go to bed... You, well, that you make that up as a bed as well, can't you? So where do... So it's four berths. Um, um, just what I was thinking. Where's the fourth bed? It's not like a bunk, is it? You'd have to have a look. Front double, front near side, rear. Fold out bunk. It's a fold out bunk somehow. Okay. Not sure where it folds well, out. It's, it's in. A... It's here. It's there, yeah. Yeah, it's here. Okay. So it goes up onto somewhere. Platform somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so. Don't do caravans, do you? Oh, it comes up, look. Yeah, it comes so that up comes up that. to there. So that folds out like that. Yeah. So then you end up with one here. And one there. And one there. Yeah, and then okay. you've got your, and then your double, double at the front. Yeah, that's all right. It's a nice place to sit in. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's necessarily basic, isn't it? Because yeah, it's, 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 it's a lightweight caravan. Yeah. If it's someone's first caravan, this would be really nice. And I think you've got the bathroom, sort of a washroom, sorry, is at the back. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Nice, nice, decent sink. You can have a shave in. <laughs> what an improvement that would be. And over here, in the toilet. The toilet's up on a little bit of a step, but... Have to get Jenny's approval for that. <laughs> the, cur <laughs> the curtain for the shower goes on a very circuitous route, but because uh, it is like a corner shower, shower washroom. Yeah. But yeah, I like that. And in the corner here, we've got a big locker. Corner locker. That's presumably where you can put your clothes. A bit of hanging space. A ladder. Another one there. Another one there. So what's in this? What's what? Is that another table or something? Yeah, yeah. it's a pull-out table. So a pull-out table to so go up there. Over yeah. there. Hmm. Oh, I quite like being in here. Yeah. Because even if someone don't want to get out of bed, if there's just two of you... Yeah, you can have your breakfast. You can have your breakfast. Yeah, or you just have your breakfast and go back to bed. This would be good for your editing as well, aren't Yeah, you? yeah. Do we get caravan then? Yeah, we'll get this then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> it's half a yes. <laughs> right, so we're down, coming down into hall one. I'm going to get a selfie here. Might, might be a good selfie, isn't it? Yeah, OK. Hello, people. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got on our list a Carthago Sea Line compact. We can't see that here. We've got all the, the bigger ones. One that's a reasonable size, I suppose, is this Sea Tourer 143, and it's on a Mercedes. And let's have a look at the specs. So, mass in running order is three... Uh, Oh no, sorry, the gross vehicle weight. Oh, you can't see it there. It's either 3,500 or 4,500. 
that I think something this size you'd probably want a C1 license and the bigger capacity surely and you've got all the sort of storage underneath the floor here with these haven't you yeah. the winterized bit I know when we borrowed that Malibu which is basically a Carthago loads of underfloor storage humongous door well, here. I mean, that's it's garage is it's just I mean come on this is just <laughs> enormous <laughs> I'll do what Trevor did <laughs> yeah I'll shut you in there but yeah see a light it's blown air heating on this and see that and it looks like does that come up or down or that goes up a little bit further I don't know We'll have a look in a minute. But yeah, that's one of the biggest garages we've seen all week, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just back to the specs a little bit. So this is four or five berth and quite expensive. Equipment of the, oh, all the exhibit. Oh, wow. So this, the price of the exhibited vehicle here is 135,510. Yeah, so it says you've got a massive living area, underfloor hatch, and double floor basement in the entrance area. Brief. Yeah. L-shaped lounge. Mercedes so, cab. Yeah. It's an A-class, isn't it? Yeah. Without the drop-down bed at Without, the front. With no drop-down bed. Yeah. This gives you the chance to have some useful st storage up the front here. Um, looks like the door is on the that passenger side. side. Passenger side, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, which is often the case with Continental um, A classes. You've got a reversing camera mounted down there. A little occasional seat here. Huge table. That Massive table. Doesn't appear to fold, but. Does no. it moves, doesn't no, it? I assume it moves around, yeah, you've got the button there to move it. Yeah. Yeah. Much like the Malibu yes. we tried. Yeah. But yeah, it's a lovely place to be in. And it should be at 135,000. I did like the kitchen when you, we You had like that this yeah. sort of air at this? Because it got this cast iron thing. And because it got this chopping board idea that you, can... that you can put it up here somehow, yeah, can't just, you? Yeah, just put it in. Just slide it in, it sort of locks so in place. Yeah, so that yeah. gives you something where to put things and yeah. also access to the sink. Yeah. We've got one it's of these little Thetfords we keep the seeing. Not the microchip, um, miniature ones. But, no. But yeah, that's okay. Just about fit your chicken in there. <laughs> if you do that thing. Oh, sorry. More drawers. More drawers. Yeah. Yeah, these are good. Pans in and everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's interesting comparing this with that auto trail, isn't it? The A class auto trail. Telly pulls out from there. Don't know. Yeah. There it goes, so it goes back like that. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, so it's nice watching the TV sitting in the seats at the front. Yeah, yeah. You've got to figure out how to get in the washroom now. Eh? I'll come around this way. Oh, massive door. That just sort of stops against that. Nice bit of a gap there. <laughs> bit unusual. Let's look at the washroom. So start at the bottom, you've got a beam me up Scotty shower cubicle. And move that out of the way. Reasonable sink. Great big mirror. Huge. I'm not sure you'd like the toilet. Well, it's the same as in that Malibu. It was it's quite too a way high. Up, yeah, isn't it? it was yeah. too high. You've only got little legs. Into double cupboard there. Yeah, it's all right. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's the best shower I've ever seen, but it's adequate. 
I thought you tried the shower, didn't you? you yeah, oh it yeah. Was okay. It was yeah. okay, yeah. My beds are way up in the air. Well, that's because the garage is very tall, Yeah, isn't I mean, it? you have a massive garage and necessarily you go way up in the air with your bed. Sort of a quarter lockers, really, with hanging space in there. I assume it's the same in that one. It feels a, a cosier bedroom, I think. Yeah. Rather than in the bigger ones, oh, I it seems as if. Bedroom. Well, no, but they, they seem further back in the van. Okay. And it seemed like, you know, you sort of looked up on these. Do you want to, are you going to risk climbing up there? No. <laughs> no you see, let's have a look at the steps then, see what it's like to get up. They're not very big, those wide, those not, steps. Well, not too wide, but. I suppose once you're up, it's a reasonable head run. But yeah. That's what you did, crack your head on, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, these lockers are very head banging. So as you get used to it. But you didn't do it, I think you did it about three times and no. then you didn't do it again. No, Poppy barks suddenly and I shoot up then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, even I'm not that keen on that being so high up. No. But it's a lovely looking bed. I don't know when you're it was. There. They were very. I mean, these mattresses are very comfortable. Yeah, you can see how thick they are. Yeah. And obviously, it will pull out and make a huge, humongous triple. But yeah, what sort of fridge we got. Oh, the usual Dometic. Oh, look. Yeah. No, I mean, I'd I did like the front of it, it was very comfortable. Yeah. And obviously this is a Mercedes, isn't it? Yeah, sure. oh yeah. A reason to buy is a Mercedes. Probably underfloor storage, shall we have a look at that? There's a step up. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is amazing, the underfloor. Yeah. Yeah. And you've got access to the water tanks there. Obviously, yeah. they're insulated as well. Oops. So, yeah. as one, one, one viewer pointed out, if you're going up to the Alps and it's freezing mm. cold, mm. you don't want exposed tanks and pipes. No. Yeah. But, yeah, I can't say, I can't honestly say this has got the wow factor for me, though. No. It's probably but, the beds, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably the beds. But yeah, the cabs, the cabs one. I mean, the cab, look, you've got double cup holders <laughs> Double cup here. holders. Got that, I mean, it's screen. amazing. Yeah. And all these controls on the steering yeah. wheel. But I mean, the windscreen seems miles away. Yeah. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Look like a locker there as well, I suppose. That's, can't get at it. Must be another one that size. Got some speakers down the bottom here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it looks like Starship Enterprise, doesn't it? Yeah. Beam me up, Scotty. Very nice to see. Or engage. Yeah. All right. <laughs>